Hey guys, Jeff here, Blackie's Man Cave. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about some modifications I've done with my Inspire 1. Um, first of all, um, I've modified the drone, the firmware of the drone, and I've modified the, um, the controller as well. Um, I've had this drone now for uh, a fair while, I think I've had it over three years. Um, I'll, uh, uh, today I just want to explain to you about some of the mods that I've done to it. Um, just recently I had a modification done with the firmware um, and it's uh, through a website called Fly Fly Drones. I'll give you the, um, um, the link in the description down below. But um, what it actually does essentially is it gives you the ability to go, would you believe, 10 kilometres <laughs> <laughs> 10 kilometers up if you want to if you have uh, if you had the controller that could do it with the um, transmission available and also um, if you could legally do it which obviously you can't um, the beauty of that though um, along with the other mods uh, with the firmware modification that I'll explain to you is that if you're beside a mountain um, it means that you can go uh, higher than the 120 uh, meter um, height ceiling that you normally restricted, restricted to, obviously you're not going to see aeroplanes flying around a mountain. Um, but the point is that um, I do a lot of filming of mountains and um, it means that I can go right up the side um, and film rock climbers, you know, well, well and truly above that, that normal height limit. Um, also with that, uh, with that modification, what it also gives you the ability to do is to um, <coughs> it increases the speed now what what the speed of this drone is I think it's about 50 mile an hour max um, it'll actually do 60 mile an hour now um, it's just incredibly fast and agile like you wouldn't believe it's um, it's made this twice the drone it was um, so at the moment um, when you're flat out, you, you're nearly doing 100 kilometres an hour. It's actually nearly faster than my Inspire 2. I'm um, getting the Inspire 2 modded uh, either this afternoon or tomorrow as well. Um, it's not just the height limit and the speed increase, but it also stops a few other annoying things like the strong wind warning. If you're getting a strong wind warning all the time, it gets quite annoying. Uh, it takes most of them away unless it's a big wind warning. Um, at times you might be running low on battery and it will try to land the drone without your, without your um, doing anything about it. You cannot do anything about it, it just auto land. Um, so it takes away that, it, it, it allows you to continue flying um, and get home if you have to when you're very low on battery. Um, it also removes the no-fly zone, so if you're finding that um, uh, you might be on the borderline edge of a no-fly zone or something and you you feel that you should be allowed to fly there, you can fly there with this, it's not going to stop you from flying there. Um, the legal side of it's up to you, um, but there are areas around where I live which are borderline on where you can fly and where you can't fly, um, and sometimes you might be in an area where you think you can fly and it just stops you because you're in the no-fly zone. Um, also, with the standard uh, Inspire 1, you can fly uh, up to five metres ascend, so up to five metres a second going up, and up to four metres a second going down. It increases that um, to virtually dropping out of the sky like a rock, or going up in the air like a rocket. Um, and it's truly amazing the difference it's made to this drone. Um, this modification here that I had done on a controller, I had that done a long time ago, probably two years ago. Um, it is excellent, like I can go out kilometres and kilometres and kilometres and still have a strong signal. Um, this one particular one here was bought by, um, I think it was uh, DB, uh, FPBR.com, FPBLR.com. I'll give the, um, the uh, link in the description again. Um, and that's a circularly polarised uh, antenna with with an, uh, amplifiers on it. So it's actually got two amplifiers and a battery that controls the amps. Um, you, do, you do not get any interference at all with this when you're flying. Um, the only problem that you can have with this 
particular setup here is if I'm flying with anyone else with a 2.4 gigahertz system, it just blows them out of the water. They can't fly usually, not next to you anywhere, not anywhere near you. Um, that's where I find the 5.8 is good, 5.8 gigahertz uh, on the Inspire 2, which means I can fly this one on the Inspire 2 um, together without any hassles because it's on 5.8 gigahertz. Um, now this is another antenna, this is a patch antenna, this is from a different mod called uh, DBS Mods um, and it's got IT Elite on the back. It's not as good as that mainly because it doesn't have amps but I can use this on my other drones, I've got other drones modded as well and it, it's more of a directional antenna. I find that this one here you don't actually, when you're far far away you have to actually point it at at or near the area of the drone flying in. This one you've got to point right at it, so it's very directional um, compared to the other one. But that 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 actual setup there, the only downside to this is it's heavy. So sometimes I may take all of this off and just put this little light one on, it just clips on down below here. Um, I I will say that I wouldn't be without this this setup now because um, especially when you're flying you know in a in an area where there's a lot of uh, cell phone towers and a lot of cell phones a lot of electromagnetic interference and stuff like that um, even flying short distances you can you can get um, you can get a, a transmission out and a, and, a, and, a, and an auto you know a go home warning um, but with, uh, with the setup that I've got here now, you don't get any of that. And you don't feel as restricted, I think. It's, you know, like nowadays, it's getting so hard to fly anywhere. You turn, you know, especially DJI drones, they want you to keep answering quizzes and uh, downloading new no-fly zone areas. It drives you nuts. You go out to do a job, and all of a sudden, you've got all these warnings and firmware upgrades and all the rest of it. You get jack of it after a while. Um, so you just want to get away from all, all of that and, and now this drone is completely isolated from all that. As long as you don't do a firmware upgrade, you're right. Um, you just stay on the same, the same firmware that you're on and anyway this firmware hasn't upgraded for six months anyway and it's only upgraded because of the camera I think. Um, in, my next, um, in my next review, I'm, I've actually crashed this one a couple of times but I'll go into that in my next review of this drone. Um, this has got to be one of the best drones I've ever owned, um, even compared to the Inspire 2. It's got a lot of advantages over the Inspire 2. Cheaper batteries for starters, they're half the price. Um, it doesn't go as long, um, and it, it, it doesn't have the dual battery redundancy, but I doubt you'll ever need that, quite honestly. They don't seem to fail in mid-air. Um, what actually causes a lot of problems with failure of these batteries is not used them for a long period of time. Um, so that's about all I really wanted to talk to you about today. Um, just ma mainly about the modifications I've done on this. So just to recap, you don't have any height limit. And I'll see if I can get you a screenshot of the... Um, um, I'll see if I can do it now, but I, if I can't, I'll give you a screenshot of it showing that you can actually go up 10 kilometres if I can do it now. Um, because um, on, on your on the app it'll come up to say that uh, you have a this just flips over sometimes. So we'll go into turn to home altitude. So five hundred meters it says there. So it says 500 metres there, you can see 500 metres, so we're going to cross that out and we're going to try and put 10,000, 10,000, done, agree, and now we can fly to 10 kilometres straight up. There it is, I hope you can see that. That's on the app, DJI Go app, and there's my plane. <coughs> if that doesn't come out, I'll actually 
do a screenshot of that somehow and uh, and we'll go from there. But there you go, guys. That's um, that's uh, what I wanted to show you today. Um, please like and subscribe. I'm going to come up with uh, a lot a lot more um, of these videos where showing you how to do different things on the drones. Also, this has actually got the zoom camera on it. So that's the Z, the Z3. And uh, I'll, I'll show you a little bit more about that later. But anyway, thanks guys. Cheers for now. Like and subscribe. Black is Man Cave.